Hello everyone, today I would like to do a brief review of the Dehancer Film Emulation plugin specifically for Final Cut Pro. As we all know, there are not a lot of great color grading tools natively within Final Cut and Dehancer is a way to supercharge your color grading. And you can think of this as like the most powerful LUT that you can buy. Most LUTs are very one dimensional. You slap them on your footage and all you can adjust is a single slider, the impact that it has on your footage. Where Dehancer is a very extensive, very, very powerful color grading tool, especially if you're editing in Final Cut. So uh, before we get started, uh, I want to list off a couple technical things that I think are important to mention. Um, this footage that we are grading today, um, I shoot on a Sigma FP. This footage was recorded externally to an Atomos Ninja V. This footage is ProRes RAW 4K 12-bit 24p footage. So I am uh, grading RAW video footage. Something to keep in mind, your results may vary depending on what your capture was. So keep that in mind, I am grading ProRes RAW footage. So before we get started in Final Cut, I wanna jump over here to the Dehancer Final Cut Pro plugin quick guide. Um, when you purchase Dehancer, um, you can find this on their website. I highly recommend downloading it and saving it to your hard drive and referencing it uh, when you first start off. There's a lot of really great information in here and they kind of walk you through the entire process start to finish. Uh, I want to draw your attention specifically to pages 9, 10, and 11. Start at page 10. Uh, it says right here, Dehancer only supports SDR color grading in Final Cut Pro. So this is very important. When you start a new library in Final Cut and you want to use Dehancer, make sure that you set the color space to standard. Very important um, if you're going to use this plugin as it was intended. Okay, let's jump back up to page nine. Right here, they talk about the typical effects sequence example. This is kind of your effects chain or your workflow. Um, they say you wanna put Dehancer towards the end of your effects chain, meaning you want to do all your primary corrections um, on your footage first. If you need to correct white balance, um, exposure, like large exposure changes, etc. Now, this is something that I think is very important and you will have to um, experiment with yourself, is they show sharpening here at the end of the effects chain. I have found this to lead to some unpleasing results if you use one of the film grain um, effects within Dehancer. So if you're using film grain and then you apply a sharpening effect after Dehancer in your effects chain, it may lead to some um, really nasty stuff. <laughs> but if you're not using any kind of texture within Dehancer, um, you can probably get away with this. So you might wanna sharpen your footage before Dehancer or after. Play around with this, figure out what works best for you. Let's go down to page 11. Input, source, and camera profiles. Now this is something that I am still experimenting with, I'm a little confused on, so I just, I highly recommend you read through this um, and find out what works best for you. As I said, I'm shooting and color grading ProRes RAW footage. It is RAW video as it suggests in the name, but it is also HDR. Um, so this is a way to um, start your process, um, your input source, um, conforming it to Rec. 709, et cetera, you know, maybe using um, the built, some of the built-in LUTs, Final Cut. Anyway, read through this. This is very important. Again, you're probably gonna have to do some experimentation and find out what works best for you. So, in this example, I am color grading ProRes RAW footage, so keep that in mind. Okay, let's jump in to Final Cut. Uh, I am gonna talk about the pros and the cons. I'm gonna try and keep this as brief as possible. Um, I would like to do a more in-depth um, video on my specific process with the Sigma FP, with Final Cut, with Dehancer. But this is going to be a brief review 
of the plugin. So we're starting off with a really pretty landscape shot uh, that I took a few weeks back. So first of all, I want to come over here to my effects panel and with all highlighted here under video, I'm gonna come down here and I can actually search D, oh, Dehancer, there we go. I'm gonna double click it. It's going to drop onto my clip. I'm gonna close my effects panel. And as you can see, it automatically applies a look. I don't necessarily like this. However, I understand why they do it, but just keep that in mind. This is going to happen every time you apply Dehancer. Um, but you can go in and toggle it off. So, um, so here's the plugin. As you can see, there are a lot of panels, a lot of tools in here, a lot to go over. Um, uh, one little trick I learned, I think it's very important since there's so much information here. If you go to the top of your inspector where it has your clip name, if you hover over it, it says double click to toggle full height inspector. I'm gonna double click that and it extends your inspector so you can see more of this plugin as you scroll. So uh, another thing I don't like about um, this plugin is, here, I'm gonna go, go ahead and toggle this stuff off here. Get this back to baseline. Okay. Um, is it has some of these very important tools, um, some of these panels, uh, kind of hidden um, since there there's there's so much information in here so many sliders um, and it's very easy to overlook some of these very important tools because they're collapsed so you have to go in here and open up these panels this is what I do every time something I don't like I wish they would just have those panels open every time okay so um, Again, you may have to use HDR tools effects for your raw footage. Um, you might want to use the input source here, choose a camera, uh, again, experiment, find out what works best for you. Um, I feel like my exposure was pretty um, spot on for this scene, so I'm not gonna do any primary corrections. I think it's fine as is. So what I'm gonna do here first off, I'm gonna go into input source and you can choose a camera. Dehancer has some really powerful built-in camera profiles um, and they actually have one for the Sigma FP, which I absolutely love. So under this format, um, it says DNG profile off BMD, which I'm assuming is black magic design film daylight. I'm not gonna really talk about this, but if you shoot with the FP, um, and uh, you're familiar with Resolve, this will make a little bit more sense, but this is a daylight scene, so I'm gonna choose daylight. And as you can see, this transformed my footage drastically. Um, this is a really good starting point. It has crushed the blacks a lot, but I can adjust that. Um, so the next thing I do is I go to my film stock. I'm gonna toggle this on. I'm gonna go here to my list, and they have a ton of really, really incredible um, film emulations. This is a little overwhelming. There are a lot of options here. I highly recommend just taking some time, going through these, seeing which ones you like, seeing how these different film stocks um, look on different footage. But for this one specifically, I really liked the Kodak Ektar 25. That's what I'm going to choose here. Okay. Now, my next step, I almost always use the print film um, feature here. So I'm going to toggle this on. I'm gonna to go to profile and I'm gonna to go to the Kodak 2383 print film. Okay, so just by choosing the uh, input source, my camera profile specific to my camera, choosing the film stock that I like and choosing the print film, my footage is already looking really, really good. So as I said before, <laughs> I want to keep this brief. There are a lot of really um, incredible tools in here. One thing to keep in mind, I'll show you here real quick, uh, film developer, I'm going to toggle this on. Some of these sliders are dependent on each other. So if I go to gamma correction here and I start sliding this up and down, as you can see, there's nothing happening at all. So I'm going to zero this out. So this slider is dependent on the one above it. So I'm gonna take my contrast boost, I'm actually gonna boost it down the opposite way. 
And now if I take my gamma correction slider, you can see now it's actually doing something. So keep that in mind. Some of these sliders are dependent on each other. So if a slider isn't doing something, you might want to go to the one above it or below it and adjust it um, to get the functionality of one of these sliders. So um, the other tool that I think is really incredible, really worth mentioning, especially if you're a Sigma FP shooter, I know it's very specific, but uh, this film compression tool is a game changer. Typically, just in general, in my experience, digital highlights kind of suck. Um, film renders highlights in a much more pleasing way, and this is a tool that is going to help you get that look, especially if you're shooting on a camera like the Sigma FP. Um, you will know that it really struggles with highlight detail, um, and so this is a very powerful tool within Dehancer. Um, I'm not going to adjust this too much, but I am going to toggle this off and on to show you what it does. If you look over here in the brightest part of the image, um, in this space here where the road is, there's a lot of fog and the sun's kind of coming through the trees. It's a very bright image. There is maybe some clipping right here in the clouds. I'm going to toggle this compression on and off. So I'm going to toggle it on and off. And you can see what it's doing there. It's bringing down the highest points in the image and giving it a little bit more of a pleasing um, roll off. Uh, again, I would, you know, I would play around with this. I would adjust it to taste. Um, uh, sometimes you won't need to use this. It just depends on your footage, of course, and how you exposed. But this is a very powerful tool um, that I'm very uh, glad Dehancer has in this plugin. Um, other than that, uh, I think I will do a much more in-depth uh, review and color grading process specific to my workflow that's shooting ProRes RAW on the Sigma FP, editing in Final Cut, and using Dehancer. As I said, this is going to supercharge your grades within Final Cut. If you want more functionality, and really amazing colors out of your footage. Um, if you're working in Final Cut Pro, um, Dehancer is an incredible tool. So I highly recommend going to their website, checking it out. You can download a free trial. Um, and if you use coupon code SHADOW at checkout, you get 10% off your first purchase. So thank you, Dehancer. Um, and I hope you guys got something out of this. If you have any questions about this specific plugin or workflow, uh, please leave a comment down below. Thanks and have a great day.